Here's Mountain Dew Zero. It's truly amazing how many flavors Mountain Dew has offered to the public over the years. I'm President Dwayne Elizondo, Mountain Dew Herbert Camacho. This is the third list in the series and includes some exotic Dew flavors. And while Baja Blast came back into our lives, we still miss the others. Here are 10 discontinued Mountain Dew flavors we miss. Mountain Dew Coolada. All right, the first one to chug their slushy is off the hook. Come on, here we go! Ah! Mountain Dew released the Coolada slushy drink in 2011. This cool treat was only available at Dunkin' Donuts stores across America. The Mountain Dew Coolada was a citrus-flavored drink similar to original Mountain Dew, and it was the same yellow-green color as well. This variation of Dew was similar to other Dew flavors, Dew Iced and Dew Freeze, which were available at the fast food chains Cold Stone Creamery and A&W restaurants, respectively. The Mountain Dew Coolada was discontinued at Dunkin' Donuts locations before the end of the year. Other stores like 7-Eleven probably would have been a better choice for the Coolada. You didn't want a Slurpee at 7-Eleven? Classes. This slushy would go well with Slim Jims and Doritos, but would that many people really want to slurp on one with a handful of munchkins? The Mountain Dew Coolada didn't work at Dunkin', but with the right partner, perhaps a more fitting fast food restaurant, and the right marketing campaign, it could work the second time around. Mountain Dew Johnson City Gold It's like beer but different. Johnson City Gold was a Mountain Dew flavor that has its origins with the creators of the original Mountain Dew, Barney and Allie Hartman. Johnson City is the name of the town where Mountain Dew was first bottled. The brothers used to make the unique malt mix they would use for special occasions here. In the early 2010s, members of Dew Labs were asked what the next Dew should be. And in the summer of 2012, Mountain Dew revealed that the next flavor was called Johnson City Gold. This Dew was part of the regional Dew promotion that let fans help tailor the design and name to one of the six regions where Johnson City Gold was available. The flavor is described as a lemon-lime malt drink, and like many Dew flavors, it was a pale green color. A reviewer described the taste of Mountain Dew Johnson City Gold as a mix of Heineken beer and lemon-lime soda. He also pointed out that it might remind people of beer with its taste and smell, but this malted drink is definitely non-alcoholic. No alcohol? The Hartman brothers clearly liked the particular soda they made for themselves and friends, but it doesn't seem like it would catch on with the soda drinking public. This variety of Dew only lasted until 2013 due to a lack of sales. Because of this flavor's historical roots with the founders of Mountain Dew, you have to wonder if there might be a chance it'll see another run. Dew the Cherry Fusion Cherry Fusion was a Mountain Dew flavor available only as a fountain drink at the Wiener Schnitzel fast food chain. It was introduced at the hot dog restaurants in 2009, but it was discontinued in 2010 because of its similarity to Mountain Dew's Code Red, which is another cherry-flavored soda. It seems like it would have been simpler to have introduced Code Red as a Wiener Schnitzel fountain soda instead of Cherry Fusion. Some fans of Cherry Fusion had held out hope that Mountain Dew would release the soda at some point, but PepsiCo has abandoned the trademark associated with the name, so it's probably safe to say you won't be seeing Cherry Fusion at Wiener Schnitzel or any place else. Hot dogs and soda are popular classics at ball games and picnics, so it made sense to pair a Mountain Dew flavor with this salty food. With the right soda, it seems like Mountain Dew and Wiener Schnitzel should be able to have a successful partnership. Cherry-flavored Mountain Dew sodas have proven to be popular in the past, but this fountain drink just never caught on like some other offerings from Mountain Dew. Democracy Distortion Great news, everybody! Democracy just kicked in! Mountain Dew fans were allowed to vote on a new flavor of Dew as part of a Democracy campaign, and this is what they came up with. A lime-flavored green soda called Mountain Dew Distortion. Does this sound familiar? It should, because it describes about half of the Mountain Dew variants PepsiCo comes out with. You'd like to think that when given a chance to be creative, fans of Mountain Dew would have come up with something a little more… distorted. A green colored lime-flavored soda isn't too far off from the original green-colored citrus-flavored soda. Oh, how original. 
This isn't very compelling and makes you wonder what's going on with the decision makers at PepsiCo. Mountain Dew has had some fairly exotic flavors, such as Game Fuel Tropical Smash and Black Label. If they were trying to market concepts like fan participation and distortion with a new soda, they should have made sure to have a product worthy of this campaign. Maybe more thought was put into the distortion campaign than into what the soda would actually be like, but PepsiCo can blame this one on Dew fans. Mountain Dew Arctic Burst What killed the dinosaurs? This blueberry-flavored Slurpee is fairly unique, and this frosty drink was exclusively available at 7-Eleven locations in 2006 as part of a promotion for the movie Superman Returns. The promotion also included Kryptonite Ice, a green Slurpee drink with a mango citrus flavor. Both of these unique flavors were discontinued later in the year after the theatrical run of Superman Returns. There have been several movies featuring Superman since 2006, including Man of Steel, but PepsiCo decided not to bring back Arctic Burst for thirsty fans. Guess we're not friends anymore. However, Arctic Burst was brought back by Mountain Dew in 2017 as part of the Game Fuel series, along with a flavor called Tropical Smash. These drinks were used to promote the video game Middle Earth Shadow of War. Both of these Game Fuel flavors were discontinued in 2018 when the video game promotion ended. A blueberry flavored drink just doesn't seem to be a very popular choice. If soda drinkers were clamoring, for a blueberry soda or Slurpee, it would be able to stand on its own and not have to be part of a limited time promotion. Cold Fusion Mountain Dew In an effort to avoid enslavement, I offer you the finest <laughs> chilled refreshment known to the human race. Mountain Dew Cold Fusion, not to be confused with Cherry Fusion, was a slushy type of fountain drink similar to the Culotta that had been available at Dunkin' Donuts in 2012. This Dew was a cherry lime flavored drink and sported a bright red orange color. This Mountain Dew flavor was only available as a fountain drink at several different convenience store chains, such as Sheets, starting in 2013. After a few years of spotty sales, it was finally discontinued in 2016. A cherry lime slushy seems like it would be a popular choice, but not everyone likes the frozen variations of these flavors. Perhaps Mountain Dew would have been better off if it had released it as a cherry lime soda instead of a slushy at Sheets locations. PepsiCo has released a number of related flavors over the years. These various flavors met with different levels of success. Some of them developed a committed fan following, while others disappeared without any fanfare. Cherry lime has been a popular flavor for a drink for a long time, so you would think PepsiCo would release a variation of this flavor at some point. Kickstart the Dew Chip, I'm all jacked up on Mountain Dew! Fans of Mountain Dew's Kickstart Limeade made some noise that they wanted PepsiCo to bring this particular flavor back. It was available from 2014 to 2017 and developed a small but devoted following, although it's essentially the original Mountain Dew flavor, but with less sugar. Some people prefer the lower sugar recipe, but it seems like fans of this drink could be happy with the original flavor. Kickstart Limeade wasn't that special, but the original has been popular for decades with its citrus flavor, distinct color, and a larger dose of caffeine than its cola competitors. Whoa, hold on, hand squad. The last thing you need is Caffeine. PepsiCo marketed Kickstart Limeade as a nighttime drink to help gamers keep playing long into the evening. It's too bad that the only place you can find Kickstart Limeade now is Australia. It seems like Mountain Dew puts out too many similar flavors, whether they be Kickstarts, Energy, or Slurpees. Customers must have a hard time keeping all the different offerings straight. Kickstart Limeade's been gone for three years already, but customers can always hope that PepsiCo will decide to restart it and give this flavor another try. Dark Berry Dew Oh, you think darkness is your ally? The Mountain Dew variant known as Dark Berry was released in 2012 as part of the promotional campaign for the third installment in Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy, The Dark Knight Rises. Its unique color was described as midnight blue and the flavor as mixed berry. Exactly what the mix of berries was isn't clear. With their soda purchase, customers were given codes to access special movie content online. A much anticipated movie called The Batman is slated for release in the summer of 2021. We have to wonder if 
if PepsiCo is preparing to gear up for another dark berry promotion to satisfy the fans of the Caped Crusader. This Mountain Dew flavor was available in the Philippines, but only at participating 7-Eleven stores, where it lasted until 2016. One reviewer on YouTube said this soda wasn't awful, but was very forgettable. This isn't the kind of review a company likes to hear, but there's a reason a lot of sodas only last for limited runs. You are the best that I can do, but I'm sorry, you're just not good enough. It seems that when Mountain Dew isn't putting out a lime citrus flavor, it's putting out a new version of a mixed berry flavor. Most of these turn out to be less than fabulous, so they come and go, and PepsiCo goes back to the drawing board. Mountain Dew White Label it's, it's very white. Mountain Dew's White Label Soda was part of a special release on a handful of colleges around the United States, with Dew's Green Label in January 2017. White Label was released to the general public later that year. It was a pineapple grapefruit flavor and was white in color. Unfortunately, its sort of cloudy, clearish appearance looked something like one of those drinks with a dissolved Alka-Seltzer tablet. Uh, uh, what's the difference between Alka-Seltzer and the one next to it? However, the flavor itself, pineapple grapefruit, sounds very tasty and refreshing, with potential that has gone unrealized. This label series of sodas seems like a gimmicky attempt to do something a little more high-end, but there's no need to snob up Mountain Dew sodas. Mountain Dew's main customer base is young males who play a lot of video games, watch superhero movies, and ride their skateboards everywhere. This is not the demographic that needs or wants soft drinks with elegant artwork on the cans. They want sweet tasting drinks with too much caffeine. By the end of 2019, all the Mountain Dew special variety labels, green, black, and white, were discontinued. Pineapple grapefruit is a worthy soda flavor that has possibilities. Perhaps PepsiCo will repackage and market it more in line with other Mountain Dew products, like the successful Baja Blast. Baja Blast of Mountain Dew. And Baja. Like Mexico? Mountain Dew's Baja Blast is a teal-colored soda with a tropical lime flavor. This flavor was specifically formulated to complement Taco Bell's menu items. For most of its complicated history, Baja Blast has been available as a fountain drink at Taco Bell restaurants. Mountain Dew released Baja Blast in stores numerous times for short, limited-time runs over the years to satisfy customers' thirst for the refreshing drink. Having gone through numerous discontinuations, promotional releases, limited time runs, and restaurant exclusives, Baja Blast has left a trail of confusion in its wake. Take one look at the fandom page for Baja Blast and you'll see that the soda has received a limited time store release almost every year since 2014. Here we go again. Some in cans, some in bottles, some linked to promotional campaigns. It's a real maze trying to sort it out. But that's the good news for fans of the drink. No matter what promotional material you see, know that Baja Blast is widely available in bottles and cans at stores. And no, you don't need to go to Taco Bell when you need your Baja Blast fix anymore. Baja Blast is a real success story. Because of real popularity, it has become a widely available addition to the Mountain Dew lineup, even if they won't fully admit it. Stick around, tap that screen for another great video, show us some love, and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell.